All right, so I just wanted to say your fucking solo was legit, dude. <laughs> Like, that shit was badass. Like, I, there was parts where, um, like, I was inspired. There was parts where I was like, hell yeah. There was parts where I was like, oh, shit. Like, he's going to catch heat for this. Like, it yeah. had every emotion in it where I kind of was like, this is fucking legit. Because from beginning to end, it kept you listening for the next fucking part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I um, that one, I, I, was, I was listening to it, and I was like, it was Sunday, the day before it had to get uploaded. And I, it was done, rendered, ready to go. And I was like, shit. Like, I should have watched it after listening to it. Huh. I'm glad I didn't, though. I'm glad you liked it, and I'm, I'm glad I didn't. But had I watched it the day I finished it, I would have re-recorded it. Because I was like... I was, like, nervous. Because I knew <laughs> you and Mom were going to watch it, and I was like, this is me. I was nervous to watch it because the day before you had messaged me, or that night, yeah, and it said, "Hey, I don't know if I want you to watch it, or if, I don't know if I want you to let mom watch it." And I was like, "Oh fuck! Like, what does that mean?" You know? Yeah, so. it that the the way I spoke and the way I that's like me right there, and not that I don't like I'm not myself around you guys, but I hold back, yeah, a lot with like my language and whatnot. So that episode, it was just, I, I honestly got upset. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I can I, fucking um, tell. <laughs> yeah, obviously I was getting a little bit upset. It, it was one of those know, ones where I'm like watching it, but like the way it's going, I'm kind of like looking around like, fuck, is anybody <laughs> out? Can yeah. anybody hear it? Yeah. Like, you know? So if you haven't seen that episode, I think it, it, I thought it was a good one. I don't yeah. know what the views are looking like. I, I didn't check it, but. Dude, it makes me so much more nervous for mine. Why? Because I don't know if I can live up to that. Like, it's, you, uh, it was good, and if I fucking, like, I don't know, if I tank it or... I feel like you're going to say, okay, we're rolling, and I'm just going to stare at the camera. <laughs> yeah. Like, just, all fucking scared, dude, not know what to do, you know? <laughs> so, that's the thing, though. We we came up with that idea not to be like, this is going to be the... These are going to be the heavy hitter, hitters. We well, did that, so it's like, they know who I am, my opinions on things, and kind of how I roll, and then it's going to be the same thing for you. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I don't think... Shout out a, to all the people uh, that left questions, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, those were some good ones. Those were some good ones. Um, I already... I, I posted my thing early, like almost two weeks in advance to get some questions, and I already got some really good ones. Um, that's, they, they really got me thinking, like, fuck, oh, man, I don't know. You know what I mean? So what it's good. What that means is if you still have time. If you want to answer, get, a, get a question to this guy, yeah. one week from now he's got a solo podcast, so if you have anything you want to ask, if there's still time. Um, by Friday. Um, you get all the questions in by Friday because we're recording it on Friday, Friday, Saturday, whatever. That's yeah. the, that's the, get the questions in by Friday if you, for the questions you want to ask them. Anyway, let's get into this episode. We have a shit ton. If I have to guess, this episode is going to be easily an hour and a half with the shit we're going to have to talk about. This really? Episode. There's a lot. And I, was, I, I was worried that we didn't have anything. So you, yeah. <laughs> so you always say I'm worried that they're, dude, shit's going down. So first off, I'm going to start out the episode with this. So, a couple of a, a few days ago, I had a buddy of mine, and we were we, we talk sports all the time. Shout out to my, my boy Chubby. Um, we, we 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 talk sports all the time. We like talking about uh, mixed martial arts in specific. Um, and I was talking to him about uh, Tyson Fury, and I was like, I'm a big fan of Tyson Fury. He's a beast. He just fucks people up. He's the man. Yeah. And then he goes, Hey, Xander. I've been waiting for this all this? week. <laughs> it's I don't want to overhype it. But I, I wanted to wait because I wanted to see if you would see it. I wanted nervous. you to see. So I covered the title. I oh, want shit. you to. I want you to see. I want you to tell me if you can see it. I'm gonna commentate what he's saying because we can't show you for copyright reasons. I'm gonna commentate what he's saying and I want you to give me a play by play of what you are seeing. Okay. This is Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. I think this is the second. No, the first fight. But he's just jabbing him. Jabbing okay. him. Pulling that jab back. Oh, he's slapping him. 
Right. It was a it was a Stockton slap, a back slap. Yep. He just look at the way his wrist is turning. Mm-hmm. Oh, that cheating fuck. Yep. So what? What would you tell anybody what you just realized? He his fist is in the wrist part of it. Mm-hmm. So when he's hitting him, there's no cushion. He's hitting him with the actual fist. Yep. That cheating son of a bitch. Is this Tyson. the one that he knocked him out in? I think this is the one he knocked him out in. This is either the Because otherwise, this fucking shit's broken. Right there. The way the glove folds back like that. Yes. And That I, right hand was legit, I, though. Yeah, the right hand. You could see it. The right hand the was right legit. The right hand's in the glove. Yeah. And I could tell you how I know this. His right hand is clenched. His, his fist is clenched. The left one isn't. It's loose. It's loose. I wonder if you could see the tape. On, on the right hand, because you have the tape sticking out? Yeah. So that's obviously it's farther back in the glove. I was such a big fan of Tyson Fury, and then when I saw this, I was like, that cheating son of a bitch. How is nobody talking about this? Tyson Fury is hitting Deontay Wilder with a jab with his actual fist, no glove. That's no glove right there. And I want you, for people who are like, oh, whatever, you know, it's, this is a big deal because what he's doing is he's hitting you with all fist, no cushion. Okay, look at the right hand. You see no no tape. There's no tape. And see all the tape right there? Mm-hmm. That's how much it's out of the glove. And yep. when it shows the right hand, there's no tape from the from underneath. Yep. People wow. are going to think, this is not that big of a deal. These guys are pro boxers. They get, this is a huge deal. What he's doing is if you get hit by that jab with no cushioning, you're taking a lot. It's probably going to hurt just as bad as a straight right. It is a big deal because that's part of the agreements when they fight. They, they say, how many ounce of gloves? Like, do I yep. want 16 ounces? Do I want 12 ounces? You know? Yep. So it, it is. This is like almost as bad as when, um, who was it? Fuck, they were just talking about the other day. But when they were, uh, his corner was putting his gloves on, they put like an extra, like a, a plaster on the tape. So it kind of made it like clay like concrete kind of clay oh so when he was hitting him and he was fucking him up i think it was against koto fuck we'd have to look it up but like uh he ended up they he won and then they ended up saying no it's a no contest because he got caught cheating yeah because he had fucking like cement in his gloves yep on his and so when he was hitting him he was hitting him with fucking bricks and it was against koto and koto's face was all fucked up Koto was like, whatever, you know, it's a fucking fight. I shouldn't have let him hit me in the, f- in the face if I didn't want it to be an issue. But Koto's just a G like that, and that's yeah, why. Yeah, that's like this right here. And what my friend Chubby said, and it was, he was spot on with this. He's hitting him with a jab, and that shit's hurting because he's n- getting no glove. He's getting no glove from this left hook. He's getting all, like, battered up tape. He's getting full fist with this jab. Those hurt like shit. Mm-hmm. That's going to hurt like shit. So what he's doing is he's making him afraid of the jab so he could fake out the jab and do the straight right. And that's exactly what Deontay yeah. Wilder is a specialist at. He'll fake the jab and then come in with the right, and that's how he knocks people out. And that's the same strategy, except he's making him more afraid of the jab because of how much it hurts. Yeah. So it makes his right hand stronger. It makes his combinations. It's just, I can't believe nobody's talking about this. I wonder if there's footage because they tie these gloves on pretty good mm-hmm. of a corner man tugging on it in the corner or something to get the hand out. I'm there's got to be sure something. I'm pretty confident there was. I seen another video and they actually caught him, but they thought it was a war. Uh, uh, oh, what is it? A wardrobe malfunction? They thought it was like a, a, a just a malfunction. In the gloves. He, you know the, you know the, the, the tape that, that keeps the um the pink the thumb and the index finger together because you know how on the gloves it's clenched right and like the, it has like this little like uh not tape but like this little leather that keeps the the thumb and the yeah you, you know yeah they do that the way the reason why that is is so they can't eye poke oh okay got it so they checked tyson fury's gloves sliced so he loosened it or he ripped he, it. He, he ripped it. He disconnected the the part that keeps the thumb and the uh, and the index finger together. So that way, if he wanted to throw a jab, he'd stick his thumb out. He could poke somebody in the eye if he wanted to. And they caught his ass right-handed, but they were just like, "Oh, oh, I didn't know." And then they just replaced the glove. 
Well, the, he does call himself. It was the, on the, his jabbing hand too. The Gypsy King and Gypsies are are just fucking dirty fighters to begin Dude. with. Like, they're all about just fuck fucking you up and winning. They don't care. Like it goes to that saying: if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I I, I lost all respect for him after this. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Because but you know what's I, crazy is I still want fucking Tyson Fury to win because I'm I just don't like Wilder. <laughs> Dude, I I saw this and I was like, or before I saw this, I I was convinced that like Tyson Fury was the best boxer in the world. And that just as a boxer, like technically, he's a beast. And then I found this. I was like, he was cheating. Yep. That's whack. Like I would, uh, I don't know. This is as bad as roiding. Oh would, yeah. For sure. It's a it's a fucking clear advantage. Yeah, one hundred percent. And so that's what I wanted to, I wanted to show you this because I thought it was crazy and now I'm like it'll be now when I watch the third fight I'm gonna be looking at this fool's hands like it's like he's David Blaine trying to do magic tricks like I'm gonna be looking at his hands literally the entire time and I I, I want Wilder to win this time now I wonder if he knows he has to and People he just I that. wonder if he knows and he just didn't want to add an excuse to look like a bitch you know, because I know yeah. a lot of fighters, like... Well, because his excuse came out and made him seem like a bitch when he was like, oh, it's because my headgear that I come out with was too heavy. Yeah. But, like, years before, they have him on a talk show thing, and he's like, oh, yeah, my headgear is 40 pounds. Like, he's been coming out with that. So, I was, yeah. it was like a bullshit excuse. So, maybe he just feels just like, like the way that ate him up, maybe he's like, fuck, I don't want to add on another one. The, yeah, just stop talking. Yeah, like, don't, why add on another excuse? They're going to be like, oh, shit, he's just trying to look for a reason why he lost, so just yeah. leave it alone. He's just trying, yeah, for sure. Um, but now I'm kind of glad that he worked his way into make sure he got that rematch. Yeah. Um, crazy, dude. I don't. I think this might be the second fight. Um, yeah. Uh, zoomed in and tell me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We probably had the Google was the cheating scam on the first fight, or uh, I'll just do Fury versus Wilder two. And let's see if the gear matches up. Looks like it. No. A green glove? No, it's showing from both fights. Oh. It's showing fight this first fight and the second fight. I want to know which one was which. Okay, so no, this wasn't the first fight. Cause this is he didn't get knocked down in the first fight. Hold on, let's look at his gloves though. Right hands clenched. Yeah, I think this one he was. So this is the second fight. Yeah. And he has the white tape on the wrist, and the other one he doesn't. Let's go back to the thing. See, it's yeah. red. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. So he cheated, and he only got a draw out of it. What an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. So if you look at that, if you think about that, if you take that in consideration, while there was war warranted this third fight. Yeah, He yeah. cheated the first fight, knocked him down twice. And so if the first fight got a DQ, that's a wilder win. Yeah. Because it was a draw. Yeah. So in a way he did he is warranted this this third fight. Yeah, it's a, he got it's the a shit beat out of him clean in the second fight, I think. I don't know. I don't see anything with his gloves in this one. I don't think I It could have been he could have been in his head already. But I also yeah. believe that too, that when you rush fights, even though like if there's three months in between for camp, when you get like massive head trauma, I feel like you should take time off to like get your shit back. Yeah. Because when guys get knocked out and they're like, I wanna be back, as soon as I'm cleared I'm back, I wanna fight. It's like, I don't know, man. You got to shake the cobwebs a little bit, you know, you fucking saying, let your brain are, heal. Are you saying that for Wilder? Or for yeah, you? like, I think he should have waited before the second fight. And I, I think maybe he was still fucked up in his head. I don't know when this fight happened. For sure it wasn't 2021. This was... I don't know if it was uploaded. Yeah. Wilder versus... It's going to make it interesting to watch either way. Yeah, even more so last now. Last year. This is over a year ago. The last time they fought I my opinion is I think it's smart that he 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 almost canceled the Fury fight 
Because fighting Wilder and fighting Joshua are two different boxes. Yeah. You're preparing to box Joshua, and you're preparing to like not get knocked the fuck out against Wilder. Yeah. That's like two the, two different beasts, in my opinion. So it was smart for Wilder to catch Fury when he was preparing for Joshua. Yeah. And to now catch it, change it all. Yeah. Now he has to go retrain to fight Wilder again when he was preparing to fight Joshua. I think he has to be more defensive when it comes mm-hmm. to uh, uh, Wilder because, like you said, you don't want to get knocked out. And and and, and, and to kind of like. Hey, real quick, is my mic on? Yeah. Because I don't see any of those bubble things when I talk. Your mic's this one. Okay, I just didn't know if this thing was. Yeah, that that this one right here is mine. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, you can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it happens. Um, but I just didn't want to have to start all over again later because yeah, yeah, you're like, yeah, "Fuck, yeah, yeah. your shit was not on." You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. I, I, but to go back very quickly, um, I think this is the s- very smart. Oh yeah. Because it could be. I guarantee it, this is a year ago. The last time he boxed, I think this was the. I think this was the last time he boxed. He might have had a fight. I think this was the last time he ever fought. Was Fury? Yeah, I think so. It, it might have had one in between. Don't know. You know what's weird though is I found out that after the the first one they had and they drew, they went to a draw. Fury had like two other fights and nobody knew about. Really? Yeah, they're like nobody guys in like different sanctions or whatever, but they were pro fights. So and he just beat the shit out of them and then bounced out like to stay in shape. Damn. So that means like. Ooh, call me, tell me if I'm wrong. Wilder kind of brought him back into the spotlight in a way, because I don't. Because what you're saying is they nobody was saying shit about Fury. No, um, they already knew that they were gonna do the rematch, but like the time frame left a gap, and he didn't. He didn't want. I guess he wanted to stay fresh or something. Oh, are you talking about before the first fight or before no, no. the second? Before fight? the second. Oh one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he he fought. Yeah, I remember one of those fights. Yeah. I remember one of those he fights. He stood active. He beat the shit out of him. Um, so, yeah, Fury's been active. I think it's smart. Whether Wilder fought after the second fight or not, I guarantee you he's been spending this year and a half training to fight Fury. And it's smart to catch Fury when he was training for Joshua because, like I said, it's two different fighters. So, uh, Wilder's had all this time to kind of prepare for this rematch. Yeah. And Fury's thinking, oh, all right, I'm going to go get my GOAT status now. I'm going to go fight Joshua. I'm going to beat the shit out of Joshua, maybe Andy Ruiz or whoever wants some. Well, here's He's a... already moving on from the probably Wilder who everybody – granted, this is a dumb argument, but the fact that there are some people who have this opinion that Wilder hits harder than Mike Tyson. Like, I don't think so. But... This generation, he, maybe he hits hardest, but Mike Tyson, I don't think so. Yeah. Um, he has freakish knockout power like Mike. I think all these heavyweights do. They're so fucking big and strong, yeah, you know? Yeah, I But think I think because Mike was small, his muscles were more compact, so he had more torque in his punches because he was I, small. I think it's two different types of power. Yeah, for I sure. think Mike, like you said, small. He almost had like T-Rex arms a little bit. He was <laughs> just so like ripped. And so when he hits you, like you said, more compacted, like stronger. Yeah. I think Blunt he knocks people trauma. out with his length. Yeah. Like, he punches through you. Yeah, you get more of a loop in it, I guess you could say. He gets more loop in it, and he's he's he he gets he punches through you, and Mike was just like, I'm not going to punch through you. I'm going to rip your fucking head off. You exploded on impact. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, it's two different types of power. But the point I was making was, wow, that hits really hard. Yeah. It easily hits harder than any fighter in the world right now. I think nobody's doubting that. You know, maybe a 50-year-old Mike hits harder. Don't know. Mike, Deontay Wilder hits really, really, I don't know if he hits harder than Nganu, but... (laughs) Ooh. Nganu can lay someone out. Like, Wilder's obviously more technical, but I don't know, power-wise... That's that's a conversation. Nganu, he's posterized people. Like, what he did to, uh, what's his name? We thought he was dead. Alistair Overeem. Jesus like, he, like his neck snapped back and it, it was ugly. He, Nganu make like, yeah, you f- the difference between Wilder and Nganu is when Nganu knocks people out, you think they're dead. And when, yeah. he, and when Wilder knocks them out, they just, they just get hit and then they just kind of slump over and you're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Like he, he gets you with like, 
where he'll uh, squeeze one in and the guy will just kind of fall over and you're just like, holy shit. And I think that the cushion from the boxing glove makes a, a different sound. So it's just like when he when he cracks people. Yeah. But in Ganu, because he has those four inch, four ounce MMA gloves, you hear like the full bone on bone just yeah. and you're like, oh, oh God. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, I fucking did. That's, a, that's <laughs> something that they might want to think about. If Francis clears out the heavyweight division, just says fuck it and fights Wilder. Hey, uh, Ooh, that'd be a fight. Dana White's a big boxing fan. Yeah, he might want to imagine. Him. I think that's why he, he hates his whole Paul the Paul brothers thing. I think because uh, he's a pro boxing fan. But I wanted to get back on this. Do you think that maybe Fury isn't taking it as serious as Wilder because Wilder obviously his reputation, his career is on the line in this fight. Yeah, and you got Fury. You know he's doing. Stuff with the Diaz brothers. He's doing wrestling stuff. He's doing different promos. He's going out and like being flashy. Like, do you think maybe he thinks it's an easy fight and he could get upset, upset it now because he's not taking it as serious as Wilder? That's an argument that I didn't think about. That is something that everybody should take into because we we see Fury everywhere. All yeah. the events you see. Oh, Tyson Fury's there. We have literally not seen Dante Wilder since that fight. I haven't. I haven't yeah. seen him at no events, nothing. Like, this dude is in a basement just fucking working his ass off, getting ready for this fight. Yep. So. And, and here, to add on to your point, uh, maybe you're thinking about maybe you weren't. We were saying this shit for Connor. Mm hmm. He was only training boxing. And then he went back into MMA with the big boys, and then Dustin Poirier put him to sleep, knocked his shit unconscious. So it just goes to show, like you said, he's training with the Diaz brothers for what? Yeah, you're not doing MMA. He's, what are you worried about ground game for? D yeah, working with Diaz for what? MMA, not boxing. So that goes to your point. While they're spending a year and a half boxing, while Fury, you know, going on interviews and yeah. shit, like you going said. To going to events and sitting in the fucking crowd. Yup, working with Diaz bro the Diaz brothers. Granted, that's cool. You want to get MMA, you want to maybe one day come to the MMA, like the MMA world. You got, your division's, your division's not over yet. Mm -mm. You have a, another fight with Wilder, which was going to come regardless of if, whether or not this appeal happened. I think no matter what, he was going to fight Wilder. Yeah, it was going to happen for sure. Um, and you have Anthony Joshua. At least three there. At least three. And then Andy Ruiz, I would argue. like. Well, he's revamped. He's in a new camp. He's yep. lost a bunch of weight. Yep. You know, I, I've at least a fight there, one fight there. Yep. You have a lot of guys that you need to beat still. Yeah. You know, if if he had beaten Wilder multiple times, beaten Joshua in his two fight contract that he had with Joshua, beaten Ruiz and just beat everybody where it's like, who's next? Maybe go to MMA. Yeah. Just to just to scrap with people, just so everybody would have respect for you. Yeah. I get that then. Yeah. But to your point. Fury's gonna get gonna get upset if he doesn't like take it serious. Respect Wilder's yeah. power. I don't like Wilder, but you gotta respect that guy. That guy's a fucking beast. He didn't make a name for himself just because you know, like he's fucking, he's a beast. Beats the he he. If he's not beating the shit out of you, he's giving you concussion for the next couple of months. Yeah, like off of one trauma, punch, trauma off of <laughs> one punch. You gotta respect his power, and I told you this. Off air, like a couple of days ago, you got to respect his power, and holy shit is he learning the fundamentals of boxing. Yeah. Because he made a career off of knocking people out with one punch. He had to make money for his daughter. I think his story, he had to make money for his daughter, and he just, fuck, I, let's get put boxing gloves on and fight. And he just knocked people out. And don't, don't fix anything if it ain't broke. And then now, he fights somebody, I mean, granted, Fury been caught cheating a couple of times you know hasn't been suspended or you know hasn't faced any re re repercussions for it but he's a good boxer i mean regardless of the cheating or not like fundamentally he's a good boxer yeah and yeah. then he loses and then now he's got to fix it yeah. and then there's also that factor you have to put in there this is his first true loss mm. how people come out of losses and they're not in the right headspace Yep. He could develop fear, you know. He could, uh, he he could be hesitant now because he doesn't want to get cracked or get knocked out. Like his head game, we don't know where it's at. Yeah. So there's that. All I know 
is on fight day, great point. But as what I've seen, he's in the right place because he didn't just say, "All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit these bag- bags as hard as I fucking could." He's going, "All right, I'm, I fought a, a boxer who knows how to box." I've been told that the biggest problem that everybody has with me is I, I fundamentally am not a good boxer, don't have great head movement, and I just kind of flush people. All right. Goes and starts hitting pads. Literally, the entire workout, I could show it to you if you want, but the entire workout, while we're talking about it, I'll just show it to you. Uh, wilder workout. Uh, um... I think this is it. Um, working on nothing but head movement, combinations. He, this was all at Wilder. Jab, right straight. Jab, right straight. That was it. And that's how he knocked people out. With, he would, and then he eventually he would pull back on the jab and then come in with the right hook because everybody would ex- prepare for the jab but wouldn't see that right hand coming. Um, this could be it. And they're still low. Um, there was one. He was in a boxing ring or outside or some shit. See, working a little bit on the head movement here. Yeah. Um, and like, maybe he, he had a head movement, but to be a high level boxer, you gotta be on some Canelo shit. Yeah. You can't take as much punches as he usually takes. In my opinion. People could be like you don't you don't watch fucking boxing. You say you don't know what you're talking about. But from what I've seen, <laughs> he doesn't really fundamentally he just kind of knocks people out. Yeah. Which is a gift. I'm I'm not saying that he isn't I think he gifted. knows enough to go in there and and beat the and, average per- person. Yep. Uh, um, but now that he's facing like you said true boxers and I think he needs to bring people in too that Mimic Wilder style, yeah. That are long, lanky. Maybe even bring in the Klitschko's or, you know, those guys yeah, with long yeah, reach. Yeah. And uh, we got a lot to talk about here, so I'm just gonna kind of just put this, this in the one? background while I'm just watching. Um, Someone no, back here with the ring. It might be pretty dope. Yeah, this is a vibe, right? He's kind of just hitting jab, right. Dancing around a little bit. Dancing around a little bit, keeping his head moving. Being aloof. Yep, keeping his head moving. I don't know if his trainer's as quick as, uh, what's his name, though? Yeah, I don't know. It's debatable. And he don't have the reach that Fury has. He has to keep this for every round. Yeah, Because at the, the beginning part. of the fight, you might be right. But if he could have this kind of head, head movement in the seventh round when Fury's maybe slowing down a little bit, that'll be effective. Yeah. Um, but he has to keep it going. He's having a good time, just training with his boxer, getting in the groove. See, his head's moving a lot. Look at that. Well, that guy's a big guy, too. Look at compared to that fucking dude that's trying to ref. So this is the point I want to make. This this right here. This right here. That's Wilder, cool. when he punches, when he throws hooks, he's wild. He's like case side He comes in like this. And in this one, he's tightening up a little bit, which I think is like fundamentally a thing he needed to work on as well. And he's working on it. Like, I think you get more power that way, too. Exactly. He's more tight on the hooks. You see that? Yeah. When usually he's super fucking wild, and he'll kind of just come over the top. Look, at he's, he's tightening up on the hooks. That straight hand comes in like a rocket. And so, yeah, I think Fury's got some trouble, dude. I think you made a really, really good point about the, um, the Fury maybe not prioritizing what he needs to be prioritizing. Like I said, it's cool that he's doing that, but the, this is not the right time or place. If you want to be in the be the best at what you do, you got to do what you do. Yeah. You know, you don't see Camaro being like, you know, I want to be the best. All right, let me go box real quick. No, he's gonna be like, I kick the shit out of people. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out who I'm fighting next, and I'm gonna w- figure out how to beat the fuck out of him. Yeah. While, while Fury is thinking of maybe. He's looking past his opponents, like you said. Literally, like you said, he's looking past his opponents instead of looking right at them. He thinks he's got him beat already. He thinks he's got him beat already. Um, you could look at that one or two ways. Grant, I think it's more. There's more negatives to that. But the pros, he's got confidence. Yeah. He's got confidence himself. You need confidence, right? Like I guess that's a good thing. 
he's confident that in his ability to confidence fight, can also backfire on you. When you're fighting Wilder, it, it will. It back, like you said earlier, backfired on Connor. Guy has yep. all the confidence in the world, and just got the shit beat out of him. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in there. Oh, <laughs> master class. <laughs> Who the fuck does he think he is? I'm gonna go in there. And I'm gonna put on a master class. For my son and my daughter. You know, and he's like, he goes in there and just gets the shit beat out of him. And it's like, okay, nice master class there, Connor. <laughs> and then he don't pay up to the charity. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. Fuck that guy. God, fucking Connor, man. And then he, like, he gets called out for it. And then he ends up donating the money, but to a different charity, not Proe's. Oh, my just God. Just to be a I dick. Didn't see that. Just to be a dick. I but Proe was, Proe is such a good dude, man, because he was like, hey, as long as he's donating to charity, as far as I'm concerned, the the debt's been paid. It doesn't have to be yeah. mine. It goes to a good cause. I'm happy with Unselfish. it. Unselfish. Yeah. Like, so it kind of backfired. Connor was trying to be a little dick about it. Yeah. You know, and and Pereira was like, "Hey, you still donated to a charity? That's all I wanted." Yeah. You know, so it made Connor look more like a dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy, Justin Pereira. Yeah. Um, I thought you were gonna kind of move on to the next point that I have on here. Um, you kind of you brought up the Pauls this Sunday tomorrow. You got Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather. Money Eight rounds Mayweather. of boxing. Um, don't know how long the rounds are. Did they say three minutes? Three minute, three yeah. eight three minute rounds. Yeah. Um, no winner, but knockouts are allowed. Who do you think is pulling that out? I think they're gonna. Um, I neither. So the May Mayweather is a super smart money guy, and so are the Paul brothers. Like mm -hmm. you could hate them all you want. These dudes are fucking smart. Yeah. They're making money off of making us hate them. Mm -hmm. It's a smart fucking strategy. So I don't see Logan fucking up his money. I don't see Mayweather fucking up his money mm -hmm. or his record, even though it doesn't go on anybody's record. Mm -hmm. So I kind of see a little bit of a eight-round dancing match where Mayweather's yeah. just jabbing. They're both jabbing, sticking and moving. Mayweather could go fucking 25 rounds if he wanted to. Yeah. Even at this age, that guy yep. still fucking is in great shape. Um, so I think it's going to be one of those ones where everybody's going to think, oh, this guy won. Oh, this guy won. And there's going to be like, nobody knows. Yeah. But they both got rich as fuck off of it. Yep. And we all paid to watch it. Yeah, I can see that. I think that's probably what's going to happen. Although yeah. I don't want it to, I think that's what's going to happen. Um, I saw that the, the, the max weight that Logan could weigh in at is 190. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yep. I don't know what Floyd weighed in at. 155. But 155. Yeah. So Logan, if he wanted to, could walk in 40 pounds heavier than mm -hmm. Floyd if he wanted to. I think what Floyd's hoping is because Logan's a naturally big dude that he's maybe doesn't, you know, some people don't take the weight cut very well, mm -hmm. and then he goes in there a little weak. Mm -hmm. I think that's what he's hoping for. Yeah, because Logan is a gigantic human being. I, saw, I showed you that picture, and it was them staring down, and oh, like yeah. his back was turned. Dude looked like the Hulk standing next to yeah. Floyd. That's a big guy. Mayweather's um, just going to use his speed. He's going to dance around. And it's going to be kind of a spectacle, you know? It's not going to be like he's just going to fucking do his shit where he ducks and runs this way and ducks and runs that way. And he's just going to... Jab, gonna, jab, out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I see what it's you're It's going to be one of those. I think that's what's going to happen. I'm kind of more excited for the Chad Ocho Cinco fight. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I, I just hope... I love Chad Ocho Cinco. I just hope I love, he doesn't get knocked the fuck out, dude. I, he's, I, I'm, I hate to say it because yeah. I really... If, 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 if I controlled the... The outcome of anything in this world, I'd I'd want Chad Ocho Cinco to either beat the shit out of him or knock him out cold in the first round. Yeah, I love Chad Ocho Cinco. He's the man, but he's fighting somebody who was in bare knuckle like yeah. fighting and he's been gonna done do MMA fights bare knuckle like this dude's a legit fucking fighter. Yeah, and the last time we saw an athlete who wasn't in mixed martial arts step in the boxing ring, he got knocked the fuck out. So. Hmm. I want to give Chad the benefit of the doubt. I want to say that he's going to win. No, he's going to win, Dad. Yeah. But. I, I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't put money on it. No. You know? Nah. I want Chad to win. I'm going to I'm gonna be so excited to watch him fight. I will say, because I did make the comparison of Chad Ochocinco and Nate Robinson. Chad Ochocinco, uh, Nate Robinson I don't think had a lot of time. He had like a few months, right? Yeah. I don't know how long Chad's been boxing. But if he gets at least, I would say at least a year of learning in, and I think he'll be better than we expect him to be. I think, um, so Chad Ochocinco is a, a natural athlete. Mm -hmm. uh, he did football. 
he did uh soccer mm -hmm. like he even i think joined into a pro league for a while like the guy's an athlete and i think i've even seen videos of him like at a gym not actually fighting but like sparring and stuff and uh, he's been a fan of boxing for a while so he's done it mm -hmm. he's just never been in a fight and got you know like mike tyson says everybody got a plan until they get punched in the fucking face and mm -hmm. then it all changes so who knows but he he's enough of an athletic person that i think he's gonna do better than nate robinson mm -hmm. um so i hope he does really good let's see if you can find anything yeah let's see if you can find anything of him sparring uh and sparring recap yeah right, let's see there you go there we go. I hope um, he does, man. So what what I'm hearing, you're giving me a little bit more hope for Chad Ochocinco because I was uh, I, when I fought. I'm not trying to like gloat. What is it? Gloat? Gloat? What is it when you like try to like I'm the shit? Uh, gloating? You got gloat. oh, got me all fucked yeah, up. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to be like I'm that guy or whatever, but I watched a lot of UFC growing up. I grew up watching BJ Penn and all them. Um, That's hard to do, so look at that. Yeah, so. Hands are down, though. You can't be cocky like that when you're not a pro fighter. Uh, Canal will get away with that shit, but not. Well, he think yeah, he thinks he's like Mayweather. That's some shit Mayweather does. That's some shit, like. Where he he's things. very flat footed. Okay, he's up on his tippy toes now. I don't know, he's awkward, dude. Uh, yeah. he's gonna, fuck, he's getting knocked out. Yeah, he's gonna get knocked the fuck out. I'm hoping he's just very fucking tired. Of I this. will be happy. With it, just be, he has a better showing than Nate, even though he loses or gets knocked out, like lasts longer. As long as he don't start fucking freaking out like Nate Robinson did, and start he throwing just haymakers runs right and shit. Into fucking yeah. Hook. yeah. As long as he doesn't do that, I'll be happy. Like, hey, he fucking did pretty good, man. If you he know? Gets, yeah, if he gets knocked out like Ben Aspen did, I'll be like, damn, he gave it his all. Because Ben Aspen, like, he was, he was like fundamentally like he didn't look too bad, but he just got hit with an overhand right and just got fucking slept. I mean, there's not shit you could do about that. And you know what I'm also worried about talking about the Paul brothers. I always thought Tyrone Woodley was a lot bigger dude. When he's standing next to Jake, like he's, he's not fucking very big. Like, Jake's got the size on him. So now I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Is he going to lose this? He better not lose. Jake's a big guy. Yeah, he's way bigger Huge. than him. Um, I will say, KSI beat um, Logan. KSI beat Logan. Jake dodged KSI. KSI was trained by Vidal Riley, an actual boxer, and he got help from the Mayweathers. So what I'm saying is, Tyron Woodley has experience in MMA. He's knocked people out. I think he knocked yeah. out Robbie Lawler for the yeah. bell. Um, Robbie Lawler is not a guy who just gets knocked out. For everybody who doesn't know who Robbie fucking Lawler is, he doesn't just Ruthless. walk into the ring gets fucking KO'd. He's known for a five round wars. fight of the year wars, and Tyron Woodley was able to knock him out. So he's got striking. He's not like Ben Aspen, who's never knocked anybody out in his fucking life. Yeah. Um, he's knocked people out. And so the point I was making, the comparison I was making with KSI, is Mayweather. the Mayweathers want to help Tyron Woodley. Yeah. So if a guy who's already fought before knows how to fight, knows how to strike, just sharpens up with the Mayweathers, I think there's nothing to be worried about. I think, too, the big thing is, like, what fucked up Nate Robinson was, he's never been punched in the face, punch, got punched in the face, started fucking freaking out. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think Askren took it as serious like uh, Pete Davidson said. He came in there looking like a bag of milk. Yeah. And uh, I don't think he took it serious. Woodley's definitely going to take it serious, and Woodley's not afraid to get punched in the fucking face. He's not going to panic. He's not going to freak out. Yeah. When he gets that punch, he's going to stay composed, and he can still execute his game plan. I think to that's going to be a big difference. To your point, when Ben Askren gets punched in the face, he goes and shoots for a takedown. Yeah. When Woodley gets punched in the face, he's he'll stand with you. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think a lot of people are worried for Tyron, but I'm not. That's somebody I'd bet on beating Jake. I think right now he's the favorite, but it could really? change. It could change. It's a, it's a small. It has a small margin. He opened up as a small favorite. So, did you speaking of Jake? Did you hear what Mike Perry said? Who's Mike Perry? Uh, Mike Perry, UFC. Crazy Pla oh, platinum Mike Perry. Yep. Yeah. Um, you see what he said about Jake? He said uh, Jake gave him more of a hard time than Darren Till. Do you know who Darren Till is? Yeah. The gorilla. Yeah, but fucking Mike Perry also beats women and old men at fucking <laughs> yeah. TGA Fridays down in the parking I, lot. I know. Like, he's I, fucked up in his head, dude. Yeah, looking in retrospect, I know. It's Mike Perry. I get I get it. I get you. He's, he's a psycho. And he's actually friends with that dude, so of course he's going to say some shit like to support his dude. 
That's like I wouldn't like, like I wouldn't go bus, out though. there and like yeah, but he's fucking he has beef with Darren Till. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> Yeah. And, and he But I'm not taking anything away from Jake uh Paul at all cuz like he's obviously done what he's done and he's made a shitload of money and he's earned his right to be making that money. So, I I'm not taking away from Jake at all. I, and and these guys, Jake and Logan are are fucking training with Ryan Garcia, like legit fucking dudes, they're taking it serious, man. They want to so fight. So yeah. anybody yeah. that, like to your point earlier, anybody that takes it serious and doesn't fuck around, you got a strong chance. Yeah, you know? and Jake's not wrestling. Yeah. Mid training camp, he's only doing one thing, one thing only, and that's boxing. And, so uh, to to um, combine what we were talking about, did you hear what Logan said in the interview earlier this week that uh, Tyson Fury hit him up and says, "I'll fight you." And I think Tyson Fury's brother would fight Jake, and like he was like, "Let's do it. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. I'll get it sanctioned through boxing and all that shit. We'll make a lot of money." It's the fucking fire alarm been tripping oh. me. And uh, Logan was like, "Fuck no! What the <laughs> fuck? You know? Like <laughs> yeah. he was. He even said, it. "I was a quick fuck no. I'm not fucking fighting Tyson Fury. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dude." That's why I like Logan a whole lot more than Jake because Logan's like. Grant, it's a, he's a Paul, so, I mean, he already has that strapped to his name. He's kind of going to get looked at in a negative light. But, like, that's pretty funny. Yeah. He, he knows his place, you know? Yeah. And I think that's the difference between him and Jake is, like, Jake would probably be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go, Fury, thinking that he's the shit. But Logan's like, I'm going to f- be in an exhibition match where there's not going to be a crown to winner. I'm bigger than him, so I don't have to get worried about – I'm not worried about getting knocked out. Yeah. I'm gonna, Take my cash and I'm gonna it's leave. A smart I know move. my place, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna go in there and step with Tyson fucking Fury. Um, so I, I got you gotta respect him for that. You can I thought like, it was funny when he was like, and my response was, "Fuck no!" Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm not trying to you, fight you. Could you. Be like, oh, Logan's a bitch. Whatever. That, He's smart. I, t- I said at the beginning, <laughs> the guys are smart. Man. Yeah, he knows his place. You know what I mean? He's not ignorant. Like you got Jake Paul being like. Come on, Connor. Come on, Connor, you little bitch. You know, like, he's talking shit. And you're just like, Jake, he's gonna, he would maul you. What are you doing? Dude, he talks talk shit to the game. Like, the game was like, let's meet in the streets, no cameras. Like, I want to fucking fight you. And he talks shit to the game. Like, game don't play that. Like, I, I guarantee you, if the game sees him at a very something, game's gonna check him. Oh, like, yeah. Like, the way DC did. Yeah. Like, he, they, he, to your point, Jake talks shit. But he's going to talk shit to the wrong motherfucker one day, yeah. and he's going to catch a beating. Like, he talks shit to the wrong dude with DC. DC don't play that shit. Mm-hmm. And you talk shit to the game. The game don't play that shit. Like, he's from fucking Compton. Like, if he sees that fool, he's going to say, oh, you were talking shit. Even though the game did call him out, I get it. But, like, you got to be careful with that shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, this is different. You know what I mean? Yeah, this fool's probably not going to come in on the streets with a boxing glove. I'll say that much. Like, I showed you that video where the game fucked up the dude from, uh, uh, G unit, yeah. uh, forty Glock, and uh, he recorded it. Like he, he's not fucking worried about getting in trouble. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he's yeah. not worried about. So you think, oh, my security guards are fucking protect me. He's got fucking big motherfuckers too. Do you yeah. think he's afraid of being sued? Like he's gonna, he he'll, he's gonna shit. get you, yeah. his fucking licks in. He's gonna fuck you up. Yeah. So be careful with that shit. You know, yeah, this sure. ain't like promoting like what you're doing before. Like be careful with that shit. Yeah, I uh, I hate Jake, man. He is so just irritating and reckless. Logan made a good business move. He does good business moves. He kind of just sits in the back and just kind of like, you know, you do your thing, little brother, you know, whatever. And he's just kind of just like, oh, fuck, you know. You know, like even Logan has said a couple times, like, fuck, man. Like, Jake, Jesus Christ, just shut the fuck up sometimes, man. Like, yeah, I Christ. think you were the one telling me at first, and I, and I was more like, oh, fuck the Paul brother, fuck, the Paul, fuck him. But you're right. Like, I like Logan more than I like mm-hmm. – Jake so like the best way I can compare it is yes they're siblings they're both brothers but Jake probably got dropped in his head a few times as a baby yeah like this motherfucker's just not all there he's fucking weird and you can see it in his face you know Logan looks like a legit dude and Jake just he looks like he's a little fucking different you know what I mean I, I, I sense a little like jealousy in yeah. Jake a little bit because Logan was more famous than him Logan was more, making more money than him yeah you know Logan took the fight against KSI he was the first one he I don't think I think Jake fought KSI's younger brother and then dodged KSI. I think, like, Jake was, like, jealous of his older brother. And he would even say, like, Logan would even say in podcasts, he was like, 
you know, if it ever arises, I, I grew up beating the shit out of Jake. Like, I, I don't give a fuck. You know, I'm not. A, I, like, I used to whoop his ass when we were kids. Like, and I guarantee yeah. that's in his head. That's in Jake's head. Like, he just he's just envious of Logan. He wants to be better than him. You know what I mean? And I guarantee that's why he's doing all these like publicity stunt shit. You know, what Logan did, the shit Logan got criticized for was just young stupid mistakes. The shit Jake is getting criticized for is him going out of his way to do it. Like actively do it. Yeah. Okay. You I, know, I like stain, yeah. he went like burned. He did it for publicity. Logan did it because he was a fucking idiot. So like, here's a good example. So Logan had a controversy. Controversy. I don't know why. <laughs> I, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did that come from? Yeah, <laughs> dude. So Logan had a controversy where he. Um, I, I, I sound like a little, like, kid, like, defending him, but I was able to step in his shoes a little bit and kind of give him a, you know, just, you know, give him Benefit some, of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. Um, so there was a video he got criticized for. He was in in Japan in this place that's famous for suicides. And he was in this place okay, called the suicide, heard about this. Uh, the suicide Forest. And he had a whole video on it. And in the video, he sees a dead body, and he kind of looks at it, and he kind of, like, chuckles. And then he kind of just goes on with the video. And everybody, and then he shows the dead body in the video. Like I think it was either blurred or either way, the body was in the video, and he got criticized bad for that. And everybody's like, "Dude, you don't show a dead fucking body, and you not only that, but you don't laugh about it." Showing the dead body, having that in the video, yes, he's wrong for that. Stupid fucking mistake. Young kid, he's dumb as fuck. Laughing and chuckling, criticizing him for laughing and chuckling at it. I would probably do some shit like that out of just like so, awkwardness, like holy fuck, that's a dead body. Yeah, I was just gonna say the first thing that popped in my head when you said it wasn't like he's laughing at the situation, more of a, a nervous laugh, like oh my god, like oh it's shit, a like dead body. Are you serious? We just walked into this right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. He more like, like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like it's like, dude, and so like that. That was like a young. Oh my. God, hey, my he's, dog he, just walked in in the room. He low-key scared the shit of me. Dude, <laughs> I saw his little Go arm off. downstairs. So our dog, our fucking golden retriever, likes to sneak out of the little, like, room that he, we kind of put him in, and he just fucking walked into the room. Um, and anyways. Open, and then he opens the door like, hey, guys. <laughs> yeah, he, I saw his arm, and I don't know why it took me forever to register. Like, what the fuck was that? No, it scared me because the door opened, and I looked out, and I didn't see nothing. So I was like, what the fuck? And then I see something furry. And I didn't really register that it was Kyle, and then I seen him. But yeah, you, know, yeah, you know yeah. me, I have no re- reflex. <laughs> yeah. so I, I don't really react to shit, but it did scare me because inside I was like, holy fuck. Like, yes. What is that? <laughs> okay, so yeah, back what we were doing. Um, he, did, he did that, right? And everybody was, that's, look at that. What do you think? You fucking idiot. Guy's a dumbass. You, why would you put that in a YouTube video? The laughing thing, that's better for the doubt. But putting in a video, what a, are you stupid? He apologized after, took it down. Literally spent like a whole run just being like, yo, like I fucked up. Like, that's on me. You know, you owned up to it. That was a few years ago. You moved on from it. Jake, the dumb shit he was doing was going in his backyard, lighting fucking mattresses on fire. Going on fucking CBS, going like on the news reporter, ah, fucking yurt, you know, like looking like a fucking idiot. That's for publicity. Yurt. Yeah, he's like, oh, y'all, yeah. you know, like a fucking psych, like, just whatever, like, just corny Weird shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. For attention. The dumb shit that Jake does is for attention. The dumb shit that Logan does is from a mistake. That's how I see it. Yeah. And so that's why when I look at Le- Logan and Jake, I-, I look at Logan more of like, sucks, man. You fucking did some dumb shit. Hey, the podcast is going to get really weird right now because I'm going to set the fucking alarm things off. To- I'm going to reset it. I can cut this off. Okay, hold on one second. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, you just experienced the first cut of the podcast. Granted, it was ruining the fucking a good podcast, so it's warranted this time. Um, and I'm back. And we're back. So, uh, yeah. So when I, I know it seems like me just being biased, and I understood where you come from. I mean, the Paul brothers aren't very likable, you know. But when I, I like I used to li- I like listen to like Logan's podcast and shit. You could call me whatever, whatever the fuck. Him as a human being, you can tell you made a you made a, a dumb mistake. You got to give him the benefit of the doubt that he grew up on camera. Yeah. You know, so he he those mistakes were like gonna happen in my eyes. Like those were bound to happen. And Jake, on the other hand, the mistakes he's making or the dumb shit he's doing is for publicity, and that's it. Logan had one time where he'd made a dumb mistake for publicity, but granted, it was like for money. 
you know, he, he was smart about it. He did it for money. Stupid as shit, kind of insensitive, but it wasn't like coming out burning like a fucking neighbors being like, fuck my neighbors. I'm going to burn a mattress in my backyard. Yeah. You know, where it's like, dude, you're just a dick. Jake Paul is a dick. He's a, not a good human being. He's a piece of shit human being. Logan is more of just like a guy who grew up on camera, made mistakes, and is trying to move on from that. You know, he doesn't want to be that. And so, like, he, like, he, I think, like, Logan's in that, like, little space where he, like, wants to be there for his brother because that's his brother and wants to be supportive of his brother. But he's also like, dude, he's really fucking things up for me. Because for the exact sa- example you did, you're like, fuck the Pauls. And it's mainly because of the shit that Jake puts him in. Yeah, but, you know? but sometimes even negative publicity is good publicity because it still keeps their name in our head and in our yeah. mouth talking about them. And I think they're they're really good at doing that, um, and it, it's working for them. Uh, we talked about this with other people, how Chael Sonnen did that. He like He's the first person to bring it out. Like mm-hmm. You know, he you talk to him now, and he's like, dude, I love Brazil. I only said that shit to mm-hmm. get a, a rise out of people and become yeah. the bad guy, the gangster, you know? So, like, I think that that's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to... Uh, keep us thinking about them we pay everybody not we in general but like we the people a lot of people are paying for these pay-per-views to watch them lose that's what we're hoping for Mm -hmm. and they don't give a shit because they're just getting the paycheck yeah you know so they're it's also an ego thing that you want to watch me lose i'm gonna knock this motherfucker out yeah but uh to your what you were trying to say is like uh it ruining it for them like i think it as long as it keeps their us talking about it they don't care it works for them you know? I don't. I don't think Jake cares. Logan. I don't think Logan he, does either. Logan. Logan has only boxed three times. And Jake's actively boxing. Logan yeah. only started boxing again to fight Floyd Mayweather because it's fucking Floyd Mayweather. If you get to, a chance to fight Floyd Mayweather and make millions of fucking dollars, you're gonna do that. Yeah. Um. To play devil's advocate and to push back a little bit, Logan isn't coming in here being like, "Fuck everybody! I'll knock any of you fools out." He's like, I'm going to fight Floyd Mayweather. I'm going to take my paycheck. I'm going to make some more money, and I'm going to go do whatever I want to do. That makes me happy. Jake's being disrespectful. I, Coming I, in here saying shit about DC. You don't yeah. say shit about Daniel Cromier, man. Yeah. You're saying shit about DC, calling out Nate Diaz, Conor McGregor saying his wife's a whore and shit. Like, Jake is overstepping. Logan's doing what he need, wants to like make money and to maintain a lifestyle, whatever. He wants to do what's going to make him happy. Jake is just being a fucking asshole about it. But Jake's doing enough so that Logan doesn't have to because when you talk about the Paul, you say Jake or Logan Paul, you think almost the same person. So, like, Jake does enough shit talking for the boat so that Logan doesn't have to. And it, it kind of gives to that um, good cop, bad cop. They're still cops, but one's a good one, one's a bad one. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure. so they, 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 they're, he's keeping their name in the. In the limelight, and it's smart, man. These guys are fucking smart businessmen. I wanted to ask you something, and I, and I know you're probably getting mad that we get off subject, but I totally forgot because we started with it about your po- uh, solo podcast. You had said that you were going to catch a bunch of heat for saying some of the things you did from even some of your friends. Did any of your friends give you shit about, about it? Luckily, I'm glad. I don't think my any of my friends watched it. Oh, okay. Um, if they did, though, they were for sure salty about the shit that I was saying. And it's and I said it in the episode. If you were salty about any of the shit I was saying, it's because it was true and that it applied to you. Nothing I said. I don't think I would no. argue. Tell me, call me, tell me I'm wrong right now. That any anything I said was wrong. Nah. I, I was pretty spot on with everything. <laughs> you know, like the vaping thing. Come on. You just get yeah. Uh, you get intense with it. Like you, I'll you, passionate. you'll get on one thing and you'll stay on it for a long time. You know what I mean? So I think it it made it more like fuck it. Yeah, it, it was passionate for sure, and it was very determination-driven. Um, but yeah, I see where you're coming from with the, the Pauls thing. I just think it's kind of a stretch with uh, saying that Logan... Because Logan's faint more makes more money than Jake does, in my opinion. He makes more money than Jake does. You're, you're kind of assuming... Like, what, what am I trying to say here? You're kind of assuming that Logan's kind of riding off of Jake's coattails. No. When I'm arguing that that Logan doesn't want to be associated with Jake. No, I, I think they do want to be associated with each other. That's why Logan goes to all of Jake's fights, even though they say they're going to fight each other. But every time he wins, he's in the ring with them celebrating. I think it's all part of their ploy. One plays good, one plays bad. 
You know, they keep a solid fan base. One keeps a solid fan base. One has a a, 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 a anti fan base because they still want to see him lose. You know what I mean? Like, so they're they're smart. Like both those guys are playing the system very fucking smart. We I talked about uh, with you off uh, the podcast about how uh, Jake put that bet on Woodley. Like bet your whole purse. If you're so confident, bet it, and if you beat me, I'll double it. Mm-hmm. But if I win, you don't get no money. You have to donate to charity. And he and he let like doubt get into Woodley's head because Woodley was not trying to accept that because he don't want to not get paid. He keeps on saying this was the biggest payday ever. Like these guys are not fucking stupid. Like they are playing fucking crazy head games, and I don't think people are seeing it or realizing the head games that they're playing. Keyword there. I think they're in two different industries, though, is what I'm saying. No, I think, the, the, Jake's I think box, they're in the I don't same think one. Logan is. I think they're in the, Logan's box their is industry time. is money, what keeps them paid and it keeps them rich. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if it was WWE, they if they would let them in there, they would do that. Yeah. Both of them. I think they're about money. And right now, the easiest thing to get in, because uh, Triller is kind of doing these kind of... Uh, I'm not talking shit about Triller, but like they're kind of doing like these sideshow circus fights. Mm-hmm. You know, like these ain't fucking pro fights. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like they're using that, but they don't have anything else. Like they're, I don't think they're crazy enough to do fucking bare knuckle because bare knuckle is doing the same thing where they're doing circus fights where, you know, they're Jake, putting people. I know, but it, Jake's boxing. Jake has fought five times. Because that's all he has to twice. make money. That's all he has right now. What else is he going to do? Make a rap of him? Shit, it worked. Yeah. He did. <laughs> He's not doing it no more. But I'm saying that they're about money. So if it's rap, then they're gonna do rap. If it's about boxing, they're gonna do boxing. Like Logan's not done after this. He's gonna he's gonna still fight. I I think. But he's gonna only go after big name stuff. Mm. I, I'm just saying they're about money. That's what they're about. It's not about boxing. I think they're both. They play everybody to get them to watch them so they can make money, regardless whether it's rap, boxing, movies, YouTube. They're making sure you check in and pay for it. And it's yeah, fucking they smart. Money. They want to do what they want to do. If Logan wants to make music, he's going to make music. And he's got yep. the, the fan base to do that. Yep. You know, I'm not saying you're wrong. They're, they def- I mean, who doesn't want to make money? Yeah. You know, they, they want to make money. Um, I don't know. I just think it's kind of unfair to kind of associate the dumb shit that Jake's doing with Logan maybe just wanted to, wanting to do where his passions are at. Logan's passion is not boxing. No, he's fought twice. That's what I'm saying. It's not boxing. So Jake why? Is, though. I know it is Jake, but uh, you're you're saying that I'm knocking him because they're trying to do their passion. If Jake loses and he gets knocked the fuck out now and then he gets his automatic rematch and he gets knocked out again, he's not fighting no more. Even he's not it, fighting anymore. Even if it is his passion, I'll he's not you, fighting no more. I'll tell you why he's not He'll fighting. He'll find anymore. something else to make money because he's not going to get money fights. Like you said, he's going to. But that's make my money. point. It's about money. It's not about his passion being boxing. It's about money. So if he loses that's it, that's for Jake though, not Logan. I know that's what I'm talking about because you're yeah. saying you're saying boxing Jake's uh, passion. Right now it is, but if he that's loses, he's not going to get any more fights. I exactly. agree. Exactly. So Jake's it's a fucking asshole. it's about it's it's about money. It's not about their passion. It's about them making money. Because you're saying your your argument was that Jake is doing it for his passion of boxing more. I, I'm saying Logan wants to do what he's doing to, for passion, but, I mean, you can't give up an opportunity on Floyd. I'm just saying you're you putting them together and putting them as, like, these fucking mind, honey, money whore geniuses. I just feel like Logan is more passionate-based or opportunity-based when Jake is more, like, right, like you said. So this is Jake's story arc. Did Disney for a while, got famous, got known, was a prick on YouTube, and then he started making music, fucking horrible music. At the time, he was, <laughs> at the time, he was passionate about it. Yeah. And then he just said, and then he's the whole Logan and KSI thing, they started boxing. And then he was like, I'll join the co-main event. Fuck it, I'll fight the little brother. I'm bigger than him. And then Jay kind of was like, oh, oof, oof, I kind of fuck with this. You know, I, I, I kind of like this. And so he's going to stick there because he's like, it's kind of making me a lot of money. I kind of like knocking people the fuck out. Shit, you know. Um, I agree with you. I realized that it seemed like I was disagreeing with you. As far as Jake goes, I agree with you. I think I just think my problem is you saying they and there and compared to, and compared to him. Because they're brothers. At the end of the day, they're always gonna have each other's back. The same way. That's why they were even before Logan or Jake knocked out Askren. They were talking about them fighting each other and how they hated each other and how they have like their own little inner beef. 
But Logan was there in the crowd, fucking rooting on his brother, jumped in there, was hugging and kissing and shit. Not kissing, but you know what I mean? Yeah. It was all exactly, it's all part of the selling it. So if they do have to fight each other for money, they will, because that's what's going to make money for them. Mm-hmm. So they have to kind of put that little into people's heads, like, oh, there is beef there, so that people will watch it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Logan's always going to have his brother's back. You know what sure. I mean? I so think, that's what I'm saying. It's them. It's them against the world, and they're playing it smart. They're making us think that they're separate entities. Like, to your point, though, Logan's not an asshole like Jake is. Well, mm-hmm. I could see that. Like, everybody's different from their siblings. Yeah. But they're still on the same team, if that makes any sense. They're different people, but they're on the same team. Like, they're not – they're doing things – to make sure they make money. That's why they were, they were, just in case this Askren thing didn't happen, they were starting to talk about fighting each other. Remember how that was going around? Well, Before they, Jake they... was like, they were like saying, somebody asked him like, what do you think about you and your brother? And he, Jake was like, I'll fuck him up, I'll fight him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's selling it. Yeah, and then Logan was like, he said he wanted to fight me, I'd beat the shit out of him. Yeah, they were so selling it. It's mean. smart, dude. You know, that's all I was saying. Like, but you're 100% right. They are different people. Like, one's, actually, I'm a, actually, I actually believe, I kind of like Logan. You like, kind of grew I, on you a little bit? Yeah, like, he started growing on me. Like, he is an actual legit dude. Seems pretty cool. And then Jake's just a fucking dick, you know? They, they are different personalities, but I also think they're going to make sure that each other stay stay rich. Even if that means them fighting each other down the line to make money, they'll do it. Yeah. You know? It's fair. smart. Yeah, it's fair. Um, and to kind of... I have this itch in my right nostril. It's making me fucking seem weird as fuck. So I think we literally covered everything we wanted to do with boxing. Which moves on to the other part of this podcast that was going to extend this. Tell me how weird this shit is. I want you to, like, think about this. This is weird as fuck. Fortnite's coming out with a new update. Theme? <laughs> yeah. I know where you're going now. Fortnite's coming out with a new update? This yeah. is a weird transition. Yeah. Uh, we covered everything boxing. Um, Fortnite's coming out with a new update. Theme? Aliens. Yeah. You, to your point, you, you presented this idea to me today, so just so everybody doesn't think I'm trying to take credit for it, you said this to me today, and I was mind-blown. Huh. You said, huh, it's kind of weird how Donald Trump came out, or whoever did, whoever was the president, he, he cleared a space force, yeah. right? That's uh, weird. A branch of the Air Force, but for the space, for space force. Space, a space force. I think they called them the Guardians, whatever the fuck. They made a space force. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Huh, what was supposed to happen this month, Dad? They're supposed to release all their information on alien life and what they know about UFOs and shit like that. Yeah. And Shit's that, and, about to pop off. And now we have a military force for space. Shit's about to pop off. People, it's kind of scary, dude. Dude, I... It's fucking scary. I, I was thinking about it. I was like, this is going to... Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not nervous about it. It gives me this weird feeling in my gut, and I don't like it. When I was like, younger, I used to, but now when I think about it, when I'm like listening to all this shit, I'm like, I'm not, I don't know why I'm not nervous about it, dude. It's so what makes it scary is not the fact that they're really seeing what they know about aliens and kind of letting everybody know, kind of confirmation. Aliens are real. So for a while, it was a conspiracy. Yeah. For a while, it was there, this people who believed in aliens were fucking nuts. But now the government's coming out being like, no, 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 they're real. There's shit out there. It's real. Yeah. That doesn't give me anxiety. What gives me anxiety? What freaks me the fuck out is that they made a space force. And what is a space force? To protect us, right? Yeah. What the fuck are they protecting us from? Like, and what why happened? Why do we need protection? If you knew already before, why all of a sudden do we need protection? Like, did you fuck something up? They, they knew exactly. They did knew a long a time them? ago the existence of this shit. And you were telling me uh, well, before you talk about whatever the movie thing, you were telling me that they've that they've been they've they've been knowing for a while. And you can yeah. tell me your theory on that in a second. But let me finish this train of thought. You've been saying that for a while. They've known for a while. Why now are we getting a space force? That shit's weird. And I just, it's, it's the, the, not the idea that they are real, but the idea that we need maybe protection is what's scary. Yeah. Because if aliens are what they're hyped up to be, like people saying like this, this fucking spaceship was going 
15 miles per hour into the water and was going 15 miles per hour out of it quick as shit didn't lose skip a fucking beat if they got technology like that that could just zoom across the fucking sky and I, I know people I know what's the first thing people are gonna say they're gonna say it, oh Space Force is just because Elon Musk is doing this new thing where he has SpaceX and he's launched a lot of fucking uh, missiles into space and and uh fucking satellites and shit we've been doing that for fucking years so yeah. it's not that and it's force what does force mean yeah exactly it's not fo- it's not space space company not yeah. space of corpora- uh, corporations it's fucking space force yeah what are they gonna force <laughs> dude there's a there's a, a fighting brand called strike force yeah you think they're talking about playing fucking patty cake in the octagon <laughs> no the fucking jump rope yeah, they they're talking about fighting. Force is a a very aggressive word. Yeah. So I don't know. It's freaky and for all the motherfuckers in 2020 who were like, "Shit, this year sucked. What's happening next year, fucking aliens? You got what you asked for, you fucking prick." Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Pre- dickhead. Pre- appreciate thanks, that. Thanks, Patrick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, God, now it's out. It's like that scene from Avengers Age of Ultron. Where like they're all the Avengers in the center just fighting all the robots and they take care of everything and Thor's like it's all you got and then like all the fu- like a hunt like a million more fucking uh, like androids yeah. come out and the captain's like you had to say something <laughs> should have asked you, you had to ask yeah. <laughs> so it's like oh god so to to go on to to continue um you were telling me about this movie that we grew up on that we watched yeah you want to tell us about this movie so the movie's Fire in the Sky. It's uh, based on true events about this guy that, uh, for people that haven't seen it, uh, gets abducted by aliens. Uh, he's part of a tree-cutting team in, in the fucking middle of the fucking woods. And uh, they see a fucking thing. They th- think it's a forest fire, and they go over there, and they fucking find an alien ship. And one of the guys, a dude named Travis, jumps out because he's kind of a wild horse crazy dude and jumps out and fucking gets hit by the beam. And they think it shoots him and kills him, so they drive off, and then they try to go back looking for him. They don't find him. Dude's missing for like seven days, and it comes back and says, I, I, uh, well, in the meantime, when they're gone, when he's gone, they're like blaming these dudes, thinking that they killed him, you know, in the fucking forest or whatever. And they're like, no, it was a fucking alien ship. They got fucking lie detectors, all that shit, and they passed everything. And people thought, no, where'd you hide the body? Where'd you hide the body? And then miraculously, this dude fucking shows up seven days later, and his story is the same thing. Yeah, I was fucking abducted by aliens. And everybody's like, what the fuck, you know? So it's a big known thing. It's a great movie. Check it out. It's pretty fucking freaky. Um, it'll make you look at pancake syrup differently because there's a scene with that that just freaking... <laughs> Anyways. Um, oh, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. <laughs> so I would say maybe six months ago. Uh, so it was, it was recent. I was watching a documentary... Um, on one of the fucking Netflix or something, I don't know. I don't remember which it was, but it was a documentary on those the real guys uh, that were that movie was based on, and it actually had the dude now he's all old and shit, and he was talking about it, and he was talking about the the accounts of what happened. But they left this part out of the movie, and this is the part that freaked me out that I told you is when he says, and uh, I'd have to go back and watch it because I only watched it once, but I'm pretty sure this is what he said. He said that when he was abducted, he was in one part of the ship. And not only aliens were there, but there was a guy with blonde hair. And I thought, a guy? So, like, humans were on that spaceship with the aliens. So, like, we've been fucking working with aliens this whole fucking time. Because this happened, like, in the 70s. According to this conspiracy. Yeah. Well, according to this guy, yeah. That said that, you know, he got abducted and shit. That fucking, there were fucking blonde hair, blue-eyed people on this fucking spacecraft with the aliens. Let me flip it. What if it wasn't a human? What if those motherfuckers could transform? Yeah, like he was a... He but should. why would one be like that and another one not? Shit, maybe they have different roles, dude. I don't fucking know. Like, maybe they, they sent one dude to go scouting, and then the other ones are there for fucking surgical shit. I don't know. It, it just I threw that idea out there. It's, yeah. I don't know. I thought about it. I was like, shit, what if like he was like... What do you call him? Um, what is Mystique? Uh, uh, her, her secret power is... Uh, she could transform. She could shapeshift. Shapeshift, yeah. She's yeah, a maybe the dude was shapeshift. Maybe it's a fucking process. I don't know, dude. Maybe he has yeah. to go into like an incubator, like a butterfly, and he comes out as a human. Yeah. Looking like Chad. I don't know. That would be more understandable than it's more freaky that they're if it was an actual human, because that means we've been working with aliens for fucking Both years. Both freaky. For years, we've been working with them. Once, like, 
once one is like uh, aliens have been living among us for years, and the other one is we've no, we've been working with the aliens for years, and now we fucked up, and now they're angry at us. I have also heard this thing on the internet um, that says like aliens don't necessarily have to be what we think aliens are: big fucking head, eyes, little hole for mouth. Like uh, viruses and bacteria are actual things that can survive in space. Mm-hmm. So how do we know that they didn't come from space and those are the actual aliens because they come here, they infect us, people die from COVID, coronavirus. You know, mm-hmm. it's a bacteria that grows in you and fucking eats you up from the inside out. Cancer mm-hmm. is a virus that's inside you that grows and eats you until you're dead. What if those are actually aliens that were brought down from here and they're fucking eating us from ground up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you never fucking cancer know. doesn't need fucking... A mouth or eyes, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's so. Like people say about. that aliens are actually bacteria, and they've been here, and we've been battling them fucking our whole lives. Shit, that's weird. Yeah. And it's it's also weird to think about uh, the idea that what's what's the possibility that they are in Area Fifty One, like everybody's saying they are. The reason why they that's were the shit. first fucking place I need to open up. Right. If as soon as I guarantee you it'll get opened up literally as soon as those files come out and as soon as we everybody kind of accepts the fact that aliens are real because I guarantee you they're over there fucking in raincoats with fucking maybe like maybe you said maybe it's just a fucking human with like tinted skin or some shit and he's just it's, it, he looks like us but he's just fucking his skin's a little bit tan I don't fucking know yeah um like what, I'm kind of like hopeful for the fact that maybe we're just bullshitting and maybe Space Force is the Elon Musk thing. That's the the, the hopeful side of me, because I don't want to fucking be like shit. Do it like. But then I'm also World War Three is against fucking. Aliens, what if they're Russia. cool as fuck, and they could give us like really cool technology? So that's what I was gonna say. So I it, and flying cars. Hope, hope back that to the aliens. Are, I want to hope that aliens are our friends, and that we're all cool with the fucking aliens. You know, with with the Zeb and fucking Zerb and shit, whatever the fuck their names are. I hope we're cool. And I hope that if they do come out as real, and they're they're like, uh, Joe Biden's like, you know, and uh, we're gonna change America today, and here's an alien, and he just fucking comes out, (laughs) and he fucking comes out like, I'll say, I'm in peace, you know, whatever, on live television. I hope they're like, everybody's gonna be scared. But this is a fucking good thing. Because these guys have been working with us, and we didn't want to come out with flying cars. We didn't want to come out with faster planes because we were afraid that you would catch us on our bullshit. But in real, in reality, these things are real. And like, what if like when the aliens come out, they start releasing all this shit? That there's so much technology that there is that we just were afraid to reveal because we didn't want to get caught in the fucking act. Because I feel like a lot of people speculate that, like, TVs and phones came from aliens, but they kind of produced it slower and just, you know, a little bit, like, you know, conservative because they didn't want to just be, like, fucking, so, we got tractors to, or, like, we got fucking horse horse wagons and shit, and then all of a sudden. So, to that point, the stealth B-210 bomber. So, that, I've always thought, was proof of, to me, Area 51 because they said an alien ship landed there and there's like conspiracy that we took technology from it. But the stealth B-210 bomber is just, we use it for dropping like nukes and shit. It's a huge ass plane, but shaped like a diamond. And before this plane came out, um, there was uh, sightings of diamond shaped UFOs for years, hundreds of years. And then also we have one now. This is the only plane that is 100% undetectable by radar. Like, how can you not see it on radar? Where does that technology come from where you could actually make the metal disappear off a of radar? You know what I mean? It takes off like a helicopter, like straight up. Like, check it out. Look at it. Look it up. The uh, Stealth B-210 bomber. B-210. Should be the B-210, but let's try that one. B-21 Stealth bomber. We'll see. Yeah, there it is. Has uh, USAF has finally released new footage of the the B twenty one right? S- yeah, that's weird. But like we for years before this came out, we were there was footage of this shit of UFOs that were shaped like this, and now all of a sudden we have one that looks just like it, and we were able to make it invisible off radar. So here's my question to you: Aliens are real. We're working with them, Isn't or we're it? stealing their shit. 
or are we stealing the shit? In a, in a hypothetical world, we're working with them now. Yeah. Are we the are Americans the only one that know of their existence, and maybe like Russia and Korea is kind of like skeptical, or are aliens working with every country? Probably every country. You think so? Yeah. Or what if, fucking plot twist, we're the aliens that they're just trying to get their land back because we fucking took it from them. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right? <laughs> and they're like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> you know? <laughs> fucking. fucking took my planet. Yeah. bitches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but look at this shit. This, so, so my, I've never my, seen anything like this. To, th- to kind of ping pong it back to you, though. If, 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 if aliens are, if are, if aliens are working with us and, but they're working with everybody. Why don't you hear of an Area 51 in Russia or an Area 51 in Korea? Do you think we they work with everybody, but like the kind of home base is at Area 51 because the ship crashed there and they're just kind of like, fuck it, why not? So I think Area 51 is just because um, uh, there was, they were saying something crashed there and they fucking covered it up or whatever. But crop circles are across the world. Yeah, that's fair. And crop circles, they say, are like markings. And then you look at things like... Um, uh, the Egyptian pyramid, mm-hmm. like the, we still look at that and we're, we think there's no fucking way. How do people build this? Mm-hmm. And then when you watch Alien versus Predator and they talk about how there's the Egyptian pyramids that are very similar to the Aztec pyramids in Mexico and like there's fucking different kind of monuments across the world that nobody knows how back then without any fucking cranes that these things were put together and worked. Yeah. And then but you look at that movie uh, Alien versus Predator, like I was saying. Uh, they came and helped us, gave us technology and helped us build those. Yeah. And then if you look at the the hieroglyphs on the walls, there's like weird things that look like pictures of astronauts. And you're like, that kind of looks like a plane back in like 1600 when there was no fucking such thing. What the fuck is that? You know what I mean? And and to, to people who are going to be like, oh, you know, they just, those weren't always there. They built that there so we, they could scare. Who the fuck would spend that much time on a, on a pyramid? Yeah. On a pyramid. Yeah. It's like I the think there's shape. no way that humans built there. No way. There's no way they were just like, hey, you want to, you know what would fuck with everybody? It's if we built a big triangle thing. Yeah. And, and we make sandwich. and we make the fucking side so perfectly flat. Like, back Dude, then, they didn't give a fuck. They just, perfect. I just want a fucking house up to be in. I don't care if it's, like, perfectly smooth and shit. Dude. Like, there's no fucking way, man. No shot. And, like, granted, this is all our opinion. We don't fucking We're know. We're not sitting here Just like, like you have no fucking idea, people out there. We don't have no idea. This is just what we think. Yeah, I'm not sitting here like fuck you, uh, Harvard I know. professor. <laughs> I know better than you, Edwin. Uh, from fucking Harvard. Anyway, um, I don't know, dude. It's crazy. I'm. It's scary, man. It's scary, but I'm like also, but ex- also, almost, also excited. Excited. Oh my god, I was just gonna say that, but I want to let you finish. That's crazy. It, I'm also excited for the theory that they're hiding more technology. And I hope they come with something like the fucking fountain of youth. We could live forever. Yeah. Fuck, right? man. Shit. Cure some of our diseases out there, and I guarantee you, like we've been working all these years, and the aliens were like, "All right, we're good. We're ready to come out now." Yeah. You know, we're ready to just like help this fucking world move around. All right, so here, let me throw you a curveball. This all comes out. There are aliens. Um, we get introduced to them, and they say, "Hey, we're willing to take some of you guys to this fucking different dimension or fucking planet that's billions of light years away. It's pretty cool. It's got some pretty cool Fuck shit." No, I'm good here. You guys want to go? Fuck no, I'm good here, dude. But what if it's like there? You can live forever. Whatever age you go, you stay that age. Like they have some cool fucking shit. Dad, I'm cool here. Tell me about it when you get home. I'm not going, dude. <laughs> dude. I would, I would, I would probably want to go. Yeah. Like, I just personally like. I I'm, I don't know. I just, it's it's kind of like the idea of like not wanting to move because you guys are like, oh, what are you thinking about moving houses? And I'm just kind of like, I fucking live here. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like that. I'm where comfortable. It's like, I'm, I, I'm I'm used to everything here. You know, I want to yeah. listen to fucking AWOL Nation and 21 Pilots. Like, I don't want to go to fucking... That would be cool. If somebody else could go and bring back pictures and shit, you know, it's like, God, I want to... Ch- I'll chill out here, dude. Maybe when I'm 50 and I've lived life and I've, like, done everything I wanted to do, maybe. Yeah. But right now, I'm just kind of like, fuck, I, I don't know. Just an alien came imagine? to him. If he said, when you get back, you'll have superpowers, I'm like, I'm in. Let's go. But if he's just like, oh, I just want to show you around, I'll, I'll be like, eh, eh, fuck that. Yeah, have fun, Dad. 
And you come back you, and you have a superpower that you don't want. It's like <laughs> yeah. you pee out of your mouth now. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If he's like, if I have like a, an extra like, like, oh, if you go and we'll let you step on our planet and like, you know, like Superman, like on his planet, like gravity and shit work different. So he was able to fly and he made him stronger. Like he's like, if he's like, yo, you go there. You step out, you, you get stronger, you can even, like, you, you just get, your body's different, you come back, and you'll be fucking darting across the galaxy. Like, you could run it, this shit. You come yeah. back, and you'll be running this shit. Yeah, if there's, mm-hmm. like, an extra thing, I'm in. Let's go. But if he's just like, I'm going to show you around in this fucking spaceship, I'm like, I'm good. But what if, not when you come back you have that, but when you go there, you'll have that. Fuck that! I want to flex to my friends, dude. <laughs> dude, I, I want to be like, yeah, oh, I'm five foot four. Yeah, I could lift your house, dickhead. Try yeah. me. <laughs> you know, like I want that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would, I would want that for something like you. I don't know. I like just, you. I just feel like if I had the possibility to live forever, just because of my fears of death, like, I'd be a fucking pretty awesome and intriguing. But I would never leave you guys. So like, if you guys want to go, then I, I'd, I'd have to stay. No, because if it's like, it depends though. I see what you mean. If it's like, oh, for the rest of your life, you're living in fucking Jugabuga 2, where you're just like, what the fuck? If you're going to live there, there, then I get it. But if he's like, yo, you'll go there for five years, I would be like on your ass about that. I'd be like, dad, I'll hold it down for five years, dude. You no, but to go to fucking space. No, but you, you've heard that theory that they say it's true that like five years in space is like 50 years on Earth. Oh shit! So like you'll go, and you'll come back in your twenties, but when you come back, I'm fucking dead, and like everybody else is like fucking fifty years older, but you're only five. It's called something uh, time something with space. Like it's it's different. You're on some um, on some Matthew McConaughey uh, shit. What's that movie called? Interstellar. Interstellar. On some Interstellar yeah. shit. It's like some real Where shit. You, of... you for you it's five years, but for me it's fifty. Is that yeah. what you're saying? I got you. Yeah, so, I uh, yeah, I'm gone for five years, and I come back, and everybody's fucking old or dead. I, I don't I know you. nobody anymore. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I feel you. Like, that's... I that makes know. sense. But what if it's the other way around? Are you down? Yeah. It's like, you'll age 50 years, you'll be there for a long time, but you'll come back, and it'll be like you never fucking left. I don't want to come back old. Well, I mean, if uh, and your theory and your ideal where you're getting fucking immortality... So I'm still the same age. So I, I didn't age, yeah. but I'm... Yeah, fuck it. It'll be, fuck it'll be like a... For them, like, 50 years... But like, like I was there for fifty years, and like no, you were gone for five. Like I was there fifty years. I lived fifty years there. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like and you came yeah. back. That'd you be that'd some be some cool crazy shit. shit to be like, oh yeah. Which okay, so that's a good question though. Yeah. For us, it's five years. For you, it's fifty. But you have immortality. Are you still taking that? You're living fifty years in space. You're not going to see us for fifty years. Are you fine with that? But knowing with the idea that... that you're going to come back and we're going to you're going to be there like we never you never left. I don't know. That's like fucking. That's a good that's a, that's a long fucking time, dude. dude <laughs> yeah. You're Fifty years without seeing nah, us. Nah, I couldn't be away from you guys that long. Really? Yeah. Even if it's like, dude, dad, let's fucking love you. You know, for those fifty years, you're gonna know that no matter what, you'll be alive and you'll see us again. We'll be. Yeah, completely... but I won't be here to take care of you guys for five years, and that bothers me. What well, something happens? Yeah, like I fucking get hit by a car or some shit. That and makes sense. I come sense. back and I'm like, fuck, I missed that. I missed that time. You know what I mean? That's fair. That's fair. What if it's five minutes? For us, it's five minutes, but for you, it's fifty years. Are you taking that? I don't. I don't know. I I'd miss you guys. Yeah, but it's like, that's a weird thing to think about, though. Yeah, you'd miss is. us for sure, but in the back of your mind, you'd be like, "I'll be here in five in five minutes." That's now. like um, what was that movie? Um, I think it's Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey. Again, Matthew McConaughey. I think it's called what's, Contact. What's up, this guy in space, dude? So like they build, they get to, uh, they get fucking some some signals from space to build this machine, mm-hmm. and uh, they finally build it, and she drops in it, and then she goes, and she's gone for hours, and she meets these aliens that, and this alien comes at her, but in the form of her dad, and she's like, oh my dad, and he's like, no, I just felt that this would be the the most comfortable form for you to understand. And he puts her on game on some crazy shit. And he's like, we just don't make ourselves known yet because we don't think you're ready. You know, da 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 Then he sends her back and she's there for hours. And then they, they take her out of the thing. And she's like, oh, my God. And, they, and they're like, oh, you know, sorry. She's like, what do you mean sorry? It didn't work. She's like, yeah, it did. I was fucking gone for hours. And they're like, no, look at the footage. You just dropped straight through the fucking thing. 
That's crazy. But then uh, at the end of the movie, like, there's this whole thing where, like, the government wants her to admit that it was fucking, it's all in her head. And she's like, no, I was there. I fucking went. I seen all this shit. And then um, they just end up agree to disagree and she gets discredited or whatever. And then there's, like, this end scene where, like, Angela Bassett, I think, the the character, and she's, like, telling the guy. Because he's like, yeah, well, fucking, she's crazy. She, I thought she was a super smart scientist. And then the Angela Bassett says, it's crazy, though, because she says she was gone for um, four hours. But we lost video footage when she went through the middle of the sphere. And for four hours, there's just static. Why was there four hours recorded of static if she fell straight through? Because mm-hmm. that was the four hours she was fucking gone. Damn. And then the movie ends, you're like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? That's like crazy. She actually went through it, but nobody believed her because she, she went, in their eyes, it was seconds that she just went straight through the middle. But she was gone for hours. And if that's real life, I'm believing the shit out of her. Scientist, she has like the resume of like the smartest yeah. fucking person. I'm not gonna be. She like, helped build the fucking thing. I'm and not like, gonna be like, you got fucking concussion. You're an idiot. Yeah. Your brain's fucked up. I'm gonna be like, holy shit, tell me about this. Yeah, and then like they they get uh, the government gets this whole team of people to like decide how they're gonna deal with the the signs that they're getting from space. And like one of them, the guy Matthew McConaughey, his specialty is religion. So, like, it, it's his religion not to believe in that kind of stuff, mm. you know? So, like, he's kind of against it, but he develops, like, a love relationship with her. And, like, he ends up saying, like, I believe you, you know? Like, mm. I don't think you would lie about this, you know? But, like, it's crazy. It's just a fucking, it's a good movie, dude. You should check it out. Contact. Contact. Yeah. Yeah, that's. But uh, that's crazy that we were talking about without even knowing about that movie, about the whole time thing. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? so. And I was going to say, it kind of reminds me of The Flash. Yeah, where he goes back in time where he time travels and, he's, yeah. and he comes back and he's he's been there for a couple of days and he comes back and he's like, "Holy fuck!" And they're like, "Yo, you just fucking left." Yeah, yeah it's like one of those. You're things. fucking fast, dude. Yeah, I <laughs> selfishly I'd want to be like, "Do it, Dad." That'd be yeah. lit. I like go with me. It's just for two minutes. Come on, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, I would. If it's two minutes, I would do it. Get immortality, maybe even fucking powers, and I'm. I'm just afraid of, like... Learn some shit you didn't know. Yeah, you get to see some cool shit. Like, if it were, if it were that, I would do it. I would go with you. It, if it were, like, five years, though, I wouldn't. Be, I would just be like, yo, I just, there's yeah, a lot of shit I want to do. Yeah, that's different. That's a lot of yeah, time. Yeah, like, there's a, shit I want, a lot of shit I want to do here. Like, you know. What about even, like, to the world, it was a, a few minutes, but you're there for a few hours. Would you go for a few hours? Yeah, I'd go for a few hours. Fuck yeah. Yeah. yeah, that'd be lit. And just see some crazy shit. And, and, I, and if, but if, then you come back, and just like everybody says, you're a fucking liar. Huh? You're a fucking crazy. You're a fucking liar. You're discredited. Nobody wants to fucking hire you. Like, your life's fucked. I'm just like, okay. Yeah. I got to see some cool shit. You're I lost. Your <laughs> yeah. You want to see me fucking run into this bank in half a second, dickhead? <laughs> yeah. I, I'd be, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down. I, it's one of those things where it's like, what, what, what do I owe to the fucking government? They don't believe me. Fuck them. I got to see some cool shit. I got to learn some cool shit. That's for me. And I'll pass yeah. that down to my kids. Fuck them. I don't give a shit if they believe me. Yeah. It's one of those things for me. Yeah. Where it's like, I got to know. I know. None of these motherfuckers know. They walking on the streets, on the sidewalks, e- eating their baguettes and shit. you have shit, that flex. I'm just like. It's like they have no idea. They have no fucking idea. These aliens told me they were going to light this shit up in 10 years. And they're going to take me with them while they light this yeah, shit up. Yeah, because we're I'm cool. Safe. We're fucking Fuck homies. Yeah. I taught them how to play baseball. <laughs> I, I would fuck with everybody. If it were just me, I'd fuck with everybody. I'd come back and be like, yeah, so. You know, they said that in 10 years, they would uh, annihilate the planet but you know they said since they liked me so much that they would give me a list of people and I would get to bring them on the ship with us to keep everybody safe you know so yeah. everybody else get wiped out and I would just fuck with everybody and you, would no. be like, you would be like did you add me and I'd be like this, uh, it's a classified I told you I, I can't tell you and no, just fuck no. You, keep no what you, I already know what you do you'd fucking find all these hot fucking celebrity chicks you're always saying you like and you'd be like hey do you want to be on the list or not <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah. You, hey, it's up to you. You know, you don't want it. I'm, I'm fine with me. You, you don't know? believe me, shit. That's on you. Like you know, yeah, it's I gonna would... be a pretty gruesome death. <laughs> yeah. I would just love to fuck with people, though. Did you have me, dude? Please tell me. You fucking love me. Like, hey, so you know what I think on the next one, and because uh, next week's my solo, and then in two weeks we're going back together. On the next one, where it's me and you again, we should talk about time travel. Like, what time would you go? 
Let's what would you change? What would you like impact? Like shit like that. Like time travel is another fucking freaky thing. And there's a bunch of videos on YouTube you can watch where they have old school pictures of like dudes that are dressed in modern day clothing next to like people in the old school clothing. And you're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? How much time do we got? We're an hour and a half in already. You want to say fuck the NBA finals and say and get in some time travel for 10 minutes? No, because I think, I think it's more than 10 minutes. You think so? Yeah. I've thought like, about this. Because this one wasn't supposed to go this deep and like the whole alien thing and and it kind of went into time travel it i could talk about this shit forever so like yeah. i think we need to start one with it god that's a long what time. do you guys think leave it in the comments you know what that's I mean? a long time dude i okay i have some you get shit some shit up. write some notes man fucking high i've them. thought about that though yeah for sure so have i what i've thought of, I'll, to, to keep it simply as a little teaser for that that episode in two weeks because we're gonna lock that in that's something we're doing in two weeks you know, fuck whatever news is happening. We're doing that in two weeks. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's a little teaser, though. What I thought with time travel is if if they were like, hey, you could go back in time, and you wouldn't fuck up your timeline, you wouldn't fuck up anything. You would only fuck their that's timeline more up. That's conversation and then about you could come, possibly fucking up the timeline. Yeah, and then you come back. Your everything that's happened happened. Everything's good. It's the same. You're fucking up with nothing but their timeline. Only their world is changing. On some multiverse shit. But if you get to go back in time and do whatever the fuck you want, see whoever the fuck you want, talk whoever the fuck you want. But, like, it won't affect your life. It won't affect your world whatsoever. I've thought about what I would do. Who I would talk to. For sure. Yeah. See, it's, there's so much things, like, it's funny we bring it up because... Me and Lizzie just watched, uh, you know how I love my Stephen King movies. We watched The Langoliers. And The Langoliers is uh, about these people that take a, a flight and they wake up in the middle of the flight and like 80% of the people on the plane are gone. Mm. Pilots too, but their jewelry's there on the floor and they're like, what the fuck, where did everybody go? Luckily, one of the guys on the plane was a pilot. They fucking finally land and the world is empty. It's just them. Like everybody's gone. And, uh, you know, Stephen King's fucking crazy. I love Stephen King. Shout out Stephen King. But pretty much the premise of the movie is that they went back in time. And the reason nobody's there is because time has already happened. You can't go back into it. It's already gone. So there's nothing there. It's already happened. Mm -hmm. Those people in the past are no longer there because they're now in the future. They hit a time warp and only they were allowed to go back. But there's nothing there because it's already gone. So it's like... There is no such thing as time travel. You can't go back in time because it's gone. It's happened. Can't happen again. There's mm. nothing anymore. So like, it's a fucking freaky thing to think about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's that aspect. So this is what I mean. Like we could, we're already four minutes in, and you said an extra ten minutes, and we haven't even fucking scratched the surface on time travel. Yeah. So it's, we need our own episode for it. Yeah. I'm excited for it though. Time Teaser? travel. Teaser. Teaser though. I'm 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 hollering at Tupac. Yeah. For sure. See, but then you think. Can I even get to him? Because this dude was always around somebody. Like, he but was always... If it's if it's, like, in 50, 50 years from now, they're like, you go back in time, you don't fuck with any timeline, right? Like I said. And they're like, you could bring shit with you. I'd be like, hey. I'd, I would be like, let me speak to Pac. And, like, the bodyguards would be like, man, get, you better get the fuck out. You're going to die. I'm gonna, I'd bring some shit. Like a phone or an iPhone. Like, I'm from the future, bitch. You see this but, shit? You know what this you. is? I'm like, what the fuck out of Turn it on plastic. and shit. It's like a fucking hologram. Like, what the fuck? But you don't have the satellites that make it work. So it's just going to be a little piece of thing. Metal. It, the power would still be there, though. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I just need to turn on. Or go to him before he was famous. Yeah. Be, no, because be like I would want to go to... Be like on Hot Tub Time Machine and you start singing all his songs. <laughs> and no, then you get no, famous. Because I would want to I would want to go to Pac before he died. Because I'd wanna, I would I want to show him my generation of rap to see what he would think about it I've always thought about that what would Pac think about this generation but that would definitely fuck up the timeline see no so cause that's what because I'm saying because now he though, knows if, he's gonna die but no what I'm saying though is what if they said this wouldn't fuck up anything for you but by letting him know he's gonna die it would no 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 but what I'm saying is in a hypothetical where they say they won't fuck up your timeline it'll fuck up his in his world he's gonna be he's gonna live cause he's gonna find out he's gonna die in the world his world is gonna live but you're gonna come back and two bucks is gonna die the way he did and so, shit, yeah, and, that's, and, now you're and, talking about different dimensions, though. That's what I'm saying. So, but that's, I'm saying though, if they different. did say that, and they're like, "Hey, you could go back in time. It wouldn't fuck up with anything. You could do whatever you want, say whatever, whatever you want, talk to whoever you want. You just go back in time. It wouldn't fuck with anything in your world. It would fuck their world up. Yeah, but it wouldn't fuck up yours. You'd come back, and Tupac would die the way that he did. 
and in, and then your world you you didn't talk to Tupac, but in you go to that timeline and you talk to him. Yeah. I would want if I could do that, I'd want to I'd want to see what he'd think. If he if he fucks with the Kendrick Lamar's, that's what I'd want to know. Yeah. But that's a, a, a uh, that's a, that's a conversation for uh, in two weeks. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna close this one out. Um, thank you everybody who listened. Thank you everybody who showed support on my my episode, my solo episode. Everybody who s- sent their questions. Submitted questions, yeah, for sure. Um, and a week from now, on Friday, on Monday, next Monday, it'll, it'll be his solo episode. Leave your questions down below. We have Scary. a few already. Just run it. Get the get the questions going. Um, try not to ask him anything about time travel and shit like that. Um, I wanna, yeah, don't fuck it up. That, we're gonna save that for two weeks. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna save that for two weeks. So leave your questions down below. Um, shout out to our core group because there's like a core of like at least sixty views for every one of our videos. So that's like our core people that keep watching. Yeah, we appreciate so, uh, it. So shout out to them. Um, big things coming. I found this website. I was gonna tell you, but I was, I was gonna surprise you with it. But I think I'm just gonna tell you uh, a website that um. You can make stickers, like cartoon version cool. stickers. And I wanted to do one for for the podcast, and then maybe we could do some uh, events where we're like, hey, if you do this, we'll, you could win some of our a merch, giveaway. our give, uh, yeah, a giveaway. So that, be on the lookout cool. for that. Uh, I seen a thing where you can get your own logo, you can put on a hat, you know, oh, shit yeah. like that. So, so that'd be pretty cool. Big things, dude. Yeah. So we got some, we got some plans. We're gonna. We want this shit to move forward. So again, like we say in every episode, if 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 you like what we do, if you appreciate what you do, if, if for something, I mean, I doubt it. I'd like to think so that people. This is like a a, a weekly thing for people. Like yeah. my favorite podcast. Like I listen, I actively listen to podcasts personally when I'm chilling, doing homework, whatever. You know, shout out the Basement Yard, shout out Tiger Belly, shout Tiger out Belly. Tom Segura's podcast. Like those guys, like they make my weeks like great. Yeah, I love Tiger you Belly. You know, dude. like. If I it's starting a day with the basement yard, just like if I if my day sucked, I'll just put on the basement yard and like I'm instantly in a better mood. And that's yeah. what I want this that's podcast fucking cool. to be. Yeah, you for know. Sure. So if if we do that for you, share this fucking podcast around, Hell get us yeah. going. The more the bigger we get, the more shit we're gonna do, the more leeway we have, and the more time we uh, the, the the faster we'll get to getting this dude on the couch. Yeah. Because at, this shit would it, I mean we have high hopes for this shit. I mean we don't want to like get our hopes up but this is something we're gonna do for a while yeah and, it's and we hope fun. that eventually it'll catch some fire it'll it'll get some steam going um and obviously i'm i'm i edit this i kind of like you know if, if there's any criticism at all about anything that we do whether it's like you know maybe like you guys shouldn't talk about it or whatever and whatever criticism criticisms you have make sure to leave them down below and we'll take feedback. them into consideration give us some feedback yeah, yeah so, uh, we, we say it every week but give us some content man if you guys don't want to talk about sports I've had a, a few people say oh yeah I watched it but I had to like fast forward this part because I know nothing about WWE that's cool man like you know shoot some shit you want us to talk about you yeah, know what I mean I, like, we don't we're not we're sitting not, here like if you don't listen to everything we're saying like you're not a true fan the fact that you're listening to anything yeah. This episode it just, just means the world. Um, so I'm and, glad people do that. Yeah. Some people would would click off. Oh, they're yeah. talking about them. I'm going to click off. Instead of skipping through to hear the shit they want to hear. Yeah. So a uh, shout out to those people that they... Or even if me and this guy know nothing about what the fuck you're talking about, we'll fucking look it up. We got the computer here. We'll research yeah, it. So, and we'll give our opinions on it. So shoot us whatever the fuck you want. To, you want us to talk about a fucking 19... 19- 55 F100 like then we'll look fucking look it up but like yeah it's fucking dope you know like yeah, I don't yeah. know we'll, we'll talk, talk about it if, if we find it interesting just whatever we want this we want this to be an entertainment podcast but we wanted to we were talking we wanted to spice in some comedy a little bit we wanted to try to up our comedy game up try to be a yeah. little bit funnier you know what I mean still um, trying to get that TikTok going yeah we're trying to get that TikTok going I'm still trying to figure that we, shit we out we shot some fucking hilarious videos I wish you guys could have seen them because we had a great time doing yeah. them uh, just the, we had some issues that we figured out afterwards with the green screen that didn't make it uh, work, but we'll, we'll do it again. But they were fucking funny. Yeah, like, I'm we gonna, had a great time. I my green screen back here sucks ass. Apparently, I, I'm I'm hoping that I could like find a software or some shit that just is super effective and I could save those clips. But uh, yeah, so speaking of, we're, we're gonna close the podcast up. So now, thank you everybody who listened. Thank you thank everybody you. who supports. Keep keep that shit going. Uh, you can find me at twitter.com and twitch.tv slash uh, Bucky Barney with two Y's. Um, if you want to see me live and chat with me live on Twitch, feel free. Um, 
I need to start streaming, man. I, I shouted out every week and I haven't streamed. So I'm going to start streaming, dude. So it's yeah. like, if, I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to try to get in the habit of doing that. If I, I'll get this homework out of the way and I'll just start streaming. Hey, and if anybody's wondering, um, Xander said, yeah, uh, 72 times. Just so you guys know, I was keeping count. No way you kept count. No, I'm just fucking oh with you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I was like, I was looking down at your phone like were you tapping on a button or some shit. I was no. like, 72 times. I, I was saving that joke to the, to dude, the right fucking time. Dude I, dude, I was like, what? And I was thinking to myself in the back of my head, I'm like, I don't think I've said yeah a lot this episode. I heard it a couple of times. A couple thought, of times. And I, I thought like, in my head, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to get him at the end. Watch I was it. like, what? <laughs> I was like, but in the previous episodes, this episode compared to the other episodes, I think I was You've better. You've done better. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I'm doing good. And then you said that, I was like, no fucking way. I, I can't wait to watch this on Monday and, and see, because I wasn't looking at your face, see your face when I said 72 Dude, times. I was like, I don't even know what my face was. I was just like thinking in my head. And when you said that, and I speaking of time travel, I fucking just went, I just saw my life flash before my eyes. I was like, what the fuck? It was, was more like, like was 43. It, really? it wasn't 72. <laughs> fucking exaggerator. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Bucky Barney, two Ys, uh, and, uh, and not in the two Ys. So, like I said, and uh, to clarify, B-U-C-K-Y-B-A-R-N-E-Y-Y -Y, uh, on Twitch and on Twitter. And then you can find me on Instagram at AlexanderMV3. Um, it's not even just for the solo podcast, but just in general, if you have any questions, we, we'll bring them up in general. Um, but this week it's going to be all about him. So all the questions that are sent from here on out will be for him. Um, and then you can find the podcast stuck in the elevator podcast on Instagram and TikTok, And then the abbreviation for stuck in an elevator S I A E podcast on Twitter. Um, and yeah, I think that's about that. You have any closing comments? No, just uh, we got an IG too. I think that's the one that we're most. Uh, I do the IG and you handle the Twitter and the TikTok. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get better on the Twitter because you've been on your shit on the on the Instagram. I've been trying to keep forgetting, but I've been trying to add shit here and there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be a good time. And uh, thank you everybody. Thanks, for guys. Um, yeah. So, so, closing comments very quickly. Um, we're not we're not gonna. I know we didn't talk about this episode, but the NBA playoffs are heating up. Shit's mm -hmm. getting crazy. Teams getting eliminated. My fucking Lakers got eliminated first round. Um, Motherfucker. I don't um, want to talk about them. That's why I didn't bring it up. <laughs> yeah, so, dude. So I think we could talk about that maybe when the playoffs are over. Maybe. Okay. So I think we... Highs, lows type highs, of deal. The highs, lows. Get an overall recap. Um, yeah. Because I think doing Good it call. in pieces is just kind of... I yeah. don't know. It's kind of forcing it. Um, I think we should just recap it when it's all And if over. we do it every fucking week, then it's kind of like it's old yeah, yeah very old um so when the nba playoffs are over we'll talk about it but i have a lot of strong opinions about exp our team in specific yeah Lakers. me too i have a lot of strong opinions a lot of shit that a lot of people disagreed with uh, disagreed with on twitter um yeah so if you want to see me bitch complain and make some <laughs> very very hot arguments and takes you get me on twitter bucky barney um two wise two wise and it's a picture of me and my dog i think i'll change that but yeah so <laughs> Yeah, I think that's about that. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yep.